Ladies and gentlemen, everybody has seen on Facebook that Sadie and I have been building, well not building, but uh, fixing up the nursery for Aria, who gets here at the end of next month, or a little sooner I guess. But uh, we've been posting pictures about before and after and all that stuff, and anybody that's watched any of my videos have seen, has probably seen the room before. It was a total mess. It was storage slash guest room slash anything I didn't know what to do with put in that room. So when Sadie told me that she was pregnant, uh, I knew that dreadful day would come that I would have to clean the room. So we cleaned the room out and it took about 13 bags of trash. And then it got a little bit messy again, but all in all, it's all empty. It's painted, it's decorated. All it needs now is the baby. So as you can see here, we have Aria on the door, just in case we forget which room's ours. We know that's hers. Uh, we didn't actually make this. Jamie um, made this, the one that took all of our pictures and stuff. She made this as a prop for some of the pictures, but she said, you know, she didn't need it for anything, so she gave it to us. So we put it up there with some double-sided sticky tape and with some butterflies and all that, and I, I think it looks really pretty, and said it does too. So we're gonna open the door and flip the light on, and it is done. So what we have here, we've painted the walls. I don't know the technical color, but we call them pink. And the trim is green. So it's kind of Winnie the Pooh colors. We want to go with Winnie the Pooh. And over here, we left this wall blank, except uh, our friend Chelsea got us this. Uh, it says, sometimes the smallest things uh, take up the most room in your heart from Winnie the Pooh. And there's Winnie, you know, sleeping it off. He just had a bunch of honey. And we had some decals today. and. Uh, we're just putting decals here and there. So then I put a couple of bees up there just to make it like more animated, I guess. And over here you have the awesomely painted green closet. Uh, you don't need to see in the closet, but I even painted the light switches. And you got another decal of Winnie and the honey pots. Uh, here you see the uh, area rug we bought for the room. And uh, word of the wise, if you are ever looking for a green or pink area rug, don't bother because they're few and far between. We got the last one in the United States, I think. So uh, it's very, very hard to find one, but we did find one, I think, at Lowe's. Um, and we have the crib here that was purchased by my mother and father. They bought all their grandchildren's cribs. Uh, it's a uh, Graco brand. It's a Rory. I don't even know, I guess that's the bottle. Right now, since the baby's not here, it's got all the baby stuff we got at the shower in it. Up here you have Aria's name, uh, Jimmy, upstairs member Jimmy Dixon painted it and did all that work. She did, drew a couple bumblebees, she drew a couple bumblebees and a dragonfly, which she did an awesome job and we thank her so much for that. Very well done. And if Aria comes out being able to read, she's gonna love it. So, you go over here, we got another closet, of course. Um, Last Witch has got another uh, Tigger here, who I don't like Tigger. I personally hate Tigger, but Sadie likes Tigger, and you know, it's for the baby, so it's okay. You got some bee coming out of the honey pot. Oh, we just stole some of my honey. And this door here, ever since I moved down in this apartment, it has always fell off track, all right? So my dad has always been a, well, my dad can fix anything, so anytime he'd come up, he'd put it back on track. He never would really tell me, oh, this is how you do it, or he might have, and I wasn't listening. So, uh, it was, it's been off for a while and I tell dad, oh, I'm fix up the, uh, nursery. So I said, can you come up and help me get back on? He's like, well, you know, I gotta bring a tool to do it. I said, okay, whatever. So him and mom stopped by yesterday he goes, let's get that door back on track. I said, don't you need that toy? He goes, no. And I would always try and get it back on. There's a little hole down here that you put it in and I'd try and put it on track. Never could get it, get so frustrated. I think I punched it or headbutted it a couple times. And then, uh, dad comes up, he goes, click boom and in about 13 seconds so thanks dad for that here we have the pink and white curtains that we have at walmart for i think they're 12 bucks each you have to buy 12 12 so 24. i washed this because it was a little dingy we got the course the green border here and these hooks are about the easiest thing we could find to hang this back because this building is really old and it's, I don't know if it's, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like what it's built with is not drywall or something, I don't know. And getting a screw in there is like next to impossible. 
up top, uh, we got where the curtains were hanging. That is the most frustrating thing I was ever in my life. I was hanging these, and I'm like, well, I gotta hang these so the curtains can hang. Grilling, 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 and I was just wouldn't go in there. Now I'm so mad, I'm like, let's go to Walmart, I gotta find something to you know, hang up there with. So we go down there, and we get this, come back. Sadie's in the kitchen or in the living room, I just start laughing. Because I didn't notice whoever lived here a while back, a long time ago, whatever, had already drilled some holes. And the screws were sticking out, so guess what? Click, boom, fixed it. And if I would have just looked like from here and went, I would have saw it when I was up on the ladder. Over here we have another poo decal. We have some butterflies, Eeyore Piglet, Winnie, Poo, and actually those weren't, those balloons aren't part of the decal. It's just Eeyore, but I decided it'd be funny to pin him on his tail because he was always losing his tail or something like that. Dresser here, uh, I still got a tiny bit of work to do. Anywhere you see brown right there, I'm gonna go through with pink and accent that a little bit. Uh, I got the handles, I uh, got pink because we didn't want too much pink. Uh, you know. So I painted the screen with a little pink you know, in it. This dresser was mine. Mom and Dad bought it when they built on the house in I think 1990. So this thing is what, uh, 24 years old? Something like that? 24 years old. This thing's older than Sadie is. And uh, it's the, it was the most ugliest dresser, you know. Back in its day, it was the bomb, I guess, you know, but it was brown, it was nasty, you know. So I painted it up green, and uh, we get the Ari gets to use it probably for another 24 years. Who knows? We're going wild. We'll use it forever. This here, our uh, friend Chelsea got us this. I can't remember what the name of these things are. What are they? Precious Moments or something? The precious, I don't know, whatever they are. She said um, they had a bunch of them, but she uh, decided on this one to father, mother, and the baby. And the baby looks like a hot dog. And we really like that. I love these things. I've, I had one uh, years ago when I think it was my grandmother passed away. Uh, a friend of mine got me one. I've still got it to this day. It's in the, in the living room. And last, or last but not least, we got the wall art, okay? This was the main focus of, uh, this was the big project, you know, besides actually doing the whole room and all this stuff. We got, uh, what we did is a lot of people think I freehanded this. I could have freehanded it, but it would have taken me a lot longer. I, it would take me like four or five days to freehand it because I'm so OCD about everything being perfect. Um, what we did is a lot of people asked how I did this. Uh, Jimmy actually told me a technique uh, when I was remodeling for Sadie when she was in Marine Corps. What you do is you get the picture or number, letter, whatever you want, print it out. On the back of it, take some charcoal pencil, rub it all over there, put it on the wall, and outline it with a pencil or ink pen. And what it does is it presses that charcoal on the wall. So that way you can go through and mark it, outline it, color it, and it looks like this. Uh, this wasn't one big picture. So we wanted uh, originally we were going to project it on the wall with an art projector, but that didn't work out. So what we did was I had to get a picture and section it and print out 20 pictures and then piece it together like a puzzle. Some of you, if you saw it online, you probably saw the, uh, it looked like a three-year-old taped it together, you know. So what we did was uh, print charcoal at the back, push it up against the wall, blah, 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 blah. So we did the outline. So we used uh, paint markers on some of it. Well, no, we just used paint markers on the shirt, didn't we? The honey, too. Oh, yeah, the honey, too. And tigger stripes. Yeah, tigger stripes. So, yesterday, I gotta tell the piglet story. So, yesterday, I am go. I went down with uh, my buddies to get fitted for tuxes for the wedding. So, you text me, and she's like, hey, would you care if I colored some on this? I'm like, I don't care. Go ahead and go wild. So, I come back, she goes, we got a problem with piglet. I said, okay. So what is it? I come in here and look like Piglet had been in a sunbed or a tanning bed for like six years. His face was so bright pink. I mean, it was like a dark bright pink, if that makes any sense. But the pink we got looked like this, but when it dried, it turned out darker and bright, darker and more fluorescent, I guess. So we had to go over him a couple times. Tigger, the one I hate, um, whatever. She wouldn't let me draw anything down here as a joke. You know, and no Superman symbol in this room anywhere. Uh, Eeyore, we had to mix colors to get his belly color, which actually turned out perfect. Um, Rue, uh, up here, if you notice on his hair, it's brown. It may look black on camera, but it's brown. We were gonna paint him the same color, but it was way too dark. So we had to go get a lighter brown and all this. Uh, and then we put a little couple 
bees here and stuff like that. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. We have the changing table here bought by uh, Judy and Lisa that my mom worked with. We appreciate it very, very, very much. Uh, we'll get plenty of use out of it, I know that. Uh, she's gonna poop and pee all over the place and we'll change her right here. And of course down here we have all the, some of the stuff like the bathing, the bath, bathtub and all that stuff for her butt and stuff to make it, you know, all that good. So that is basically it. Uh, everybody that's liked and commented on the pictures and stuff on Facebook, uh, we want to say we appreciate it. It's like that, like I've been on vacation for like uh, nine of eleven days so far, and I pretty much this is all we've been doing. And you know, Sadie being pregnant, I didn't let her do anything. You know, she basically sit, you know, in here in a chair and just you know play music and we chit chat and stuff like that. You know, which that helped me more than anything because it kept me motivated and kept me, you know, going. And I didn't get bored and all this. And I wanted it to uh, be perfect. And also, I want to apologize to my father because my mom said, uh, I called the other day. She's like, Your dad wants to know if you want him to come up and help you paint. And I said, No, no, it's okay. Which, dad, you know, it looks good. I think it looks awesome, but dad would have made it look even more better. But I told him, I said, No, I want to do it myself. You know, because I want to be able to say, Hey, I did my baby girl's room all by myself, you know, with a minimal help, you know. But like I said, Jimmy helped, you know, and Sadie, you know, painted a little bit. And just being here, talking to me, and keeping me going, say he did ten times more than I did. So, but once again, I'd like to say thank you, and uh, we can't wait for Ari to get here. And when she does, uh, you guys better like and comment, and just love her pictures to death, because uh, I'm just my head's gonna explode. Like literally, I'm gonna have to wear a helmet whenever Sadie gives birth, because if I don't, my head will blow off my shoulders. So until next time, 